this is Sean with The Driver's Perspective and this is going to be day two of working on Ryan's V6 wiring harness. We've made some progress since our last time here. Um, nothing huge, more of the same. Mostly just laying out every wire. We have our tail harness over here. This is going to be all the wires going to the switch panel, the fuse box, and your junction. And this is going to be all in the dash. Part of this will be going to the IQ3S street dash, the accelerator pedal, um, onboard diagnostic port, all that good stuff. And today we're going to focus on getting these bulkhead connectors uh, from DIY AutoTune. These are the weather pack bulkhead connectors uh, pinned. And we'll see how far we get with the rest of the harness. This is going to be a lot of crimping and more crimping and then more crimping and more crimping. Crimp until your fingers fall off. We had a question from our last video and that was why are we using particle board to lay out our wiring harness uh, for construction? And the answer is pretty simple. Uh, it allows us to visualize and see the harness in uh, more of a complete manner rather than being crouched in the car trying to assemble all these wires that go here to the dash, all the fuse panel wires, it makes it just a, a lot less stressful um, and we can also make sure we have all the correct lengths ahead of time and ideally we won't even be modifying this after it comes off the board and it'll be plugging into the car. Anything you want to add Ryan? When you are doing a wiring harness like this, um, not speaking from experience of doing a hundred of them, but uh, I quickly looked at it and realized it was something that you could easily lose track of and go, wait, what was this wire for and why am I doing this with it? And if you're doing that 50 wires in, you're going to be pulling your hair out. So bottom line is you take your measurements on the car and you can do that with a piece of rope or measuring tape or whatever, figure out where all your components are going, draw it all out. And I got a little fancy and did it in the computer, but you can even do it, uh, just you know don't maybe not on a napkin but on a piece of paper by hand and that becomes your roadmap so that everything that you do here and it is nice to not be crouching in the car when you're doing it but everything you do here you're basically just following the roadmap it's already planned and you've thought about it and you're not throwing a bunch of wire away realizing it needs to be done a different way etc um, and that allows us to use nice materials um, instead of, uh, you know, some cheaper stuff because we're able to actually sit down and go, okay, I know I need this many feet of this and this many feet of that. You don't have a bunch of waste. So this is also a lot more comfortable. Um, just kind of the right way to do it. Pro tip if you're doing your wiring harness, invest in good tools. We're finding our cheap, kind of generic part store wire strippers aren't good enough to cut through the shielding on this Tefsel wire. Uh, and the automatic wire stripper that I normally use for a lot of projects is also not cutting it and Same it's thing. damaging the shielding. <laughs> it's not cutting it. So yeah, I think that's a, a good lesson for anybody to, to learn, but before you get involved into a project like this, definitely invest in the tools. You got an expensive fairly expensive weather pack uh, crimper. That thing works awesome. Yep, Got works cheap every time. Part store wire strippers and we might as well throw them away. We have, we're on the first connector. There's something like 70 wires in the main harness and we quickly realize that we don't want to use cheap tools on this. Don't be cheap. This isn't the time to do it. No. And considering we're going to be here for many more hours and many more beers. Some um, beards. We're going to have beards. <laughs> we're going to be cavemen by the time this is done. All right, so hard to say how much time has elapsed. We didn't take a look at the clock, our fault, but I'm going to guess it's been about 30 to 60 minutes. Uh, we've crimped about a uh, handful of wires here. Uh, this is going to the bulkhead connector that will be on the firewall. Uh, and Of course, we have many, many more to go. Uh, but it'll only get better from here.